Hey there, Kimberly. How's it going? Hi, babe. How are you? Good. What you making? Oh, well, earlier I made mung beans in, moon beans in my rice cooker. Oh, yeah. Um, I did a video for y'all on there, and what I'm going to do with them tonight, instead of making a hot or cold salad with them, I'm making a creamed moon bean soup. And I've just got some onions going here on low. I already have one large onion, and mm -hmm. we just happen to have uh, red onions today, so that's what I'm using. Now, are you using that little trick that you were showing me of with cutting onions there? Or? Yes, always. Exactly. What are you doing again? How does that work? Okay, to dice them easily, you want to cut them in half with still holding on to the little stem at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cut it in half, cut the very edge off, mm -hmm. peel it, and that's what you get. So then you're going to cut it from top to bottom, down, 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 not all the way to the stem where it all fall apart. Uh -huh. Then you turn it and you're going to cut it this way. Not all the way to the end and not slicing your fingers, just working your way up. <laughs> like that. Uh huh. Then you're going to cut it the other way, three ways. And you can cut it as small as you like with the dice. This is mm -hmm. a pretty small dice because I'm just cooking this quickly. My, my moon beans are already cooked and um, I just need to get these onions sauteed up. Mm -hmm. By the way, so. those beans that you brought me earlier Oh, those are quite tasty. They have a quite the smoky little flavor to them too. Smoky I like it. or nutty even, eh? Yeah, yeah it's really yeah. good. It's the first time we've had them. So here, I'm just throwing them all in here. I'm going to finely mince four cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. I've got um, two bay leaves in here. Mm -hmm. uh, I used a little bit of olive oil and about a teaspoon of coconut oil right. to make this uh, tasty and healthy. Now, <laughs> coconut oil, when you get coconut oil, it comes hard. Right. It's not actually oil, so don't be don't be scared when you get it. It's okay. It will melt, and uh, we'll get we'll be right back to me in a second. All right. Hey. All right. So I see you're over here uh, playing with the onions some more. <laughs> playing with the onions. The onions are caramelizing. All right. And what you want to just make sure that they're cooked through. They're okay. soft, and they are translucent. And translucent means you can almost see through them. See what I mean? Well, I'm kind of sorted. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, those are good. They're ready. Which means we need to get the garlic and the ginger in. And I've already finely minced up this garlic nicely. Mm -hmm. And I just take it in a little hand grater and I'm grating just a whole fresh piece of ginger, about one inch worth. Mm hmm. And. Now, maybe I'm just being nosy, but what is this little, uh, block of is that cheese or <laughs> tofu or it is tofu oh right you're right and you know why i'm adding it kenny no i don't well, oh protein protein because you always want protein yeah. and i only have beans in here so instead of having to add rice or something like that mm -hmm. i'm going to add tofu make it have protein in it without putting meat in mm -hmm. and uh I'll show you that in a second, but now you just want to stir in the garlic and the ginger. Okay. You just want it to cook through. If you put the garlic in at the beginning, like I, I have said in a number of videos before, um, you'll burn it with the onions and bitter garlic. It, it turns bitter when it's burnt and it does not taste good. Okay. So, that's that. You don't have to babysit it the whole time. And we are going to cut this tofu. Now, this is going to be a creamy soup, and I'm going to end up blending it anyway. Okay. So I don't need everything to look all perfect and pretty, because it's just going to get zapped. Mm -hmm. So, you just need to... No, when you say zapped, you don't mean microwave. No, not zapped. I oh, okay. mean zapped by the, by the blender, okay. the hand blender. I just want to make that clear, because there's probably a lot of people watching this, and they might think that you meant... You're absolutely right. ...tossing it in the Mikey. You're absolutely right. So we're just going to take this tofu, slice it into little chunks, and what we're going to do is once that garlic and ginger is just softened, mm -hmm. I'm going to throw that in there, get a little flavor mixed in um, to this because tofu takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. Okay. So um, we need to get a little bit browned on it and uh, mix with the onions, garlic, and ginger. That should really pump it up a little bit. Okay. We'll be back in a second. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So... It's looking kind of pretty in the pot there. What's going on? Um, I just added one tablespoon of um, curry paste, and I usually use Patex simply because of flavor purposes. Mm -hmm. I just prefer that brand. Mm -hmm. I also like to use lime leaves. I think y'all know that. Um, we have a lime 
tree in the house that we can bring in in the winter so I can use it. I use it a lot for Asian cooking and, and Mexican cooking and all that stuff. So we're gonna, what we're going to do, we have the tofu in here. It was browned up. I put the curry paste in. I'm going to layer some more flavors because I just discovered I have no chicken broth. So I'm going to need to use water and <laughs> water doesn't taste like anything. So we're going to kick it up uh, with some spices. So I'm going to add some um, cayenne pepper, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. Uh -huh. um, some cumin, brown cumin. Uh, we're going to add two teaspoons of it. And some just plain old chili powder. Yep, we like it spicy in here. <laughs> Probably about an eighth of a teaspoon again. Okay. Um, some ground, freshly cracked black pepper. Mm -hmm. And I had already put some crushed chilies in earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to let this just stir it around a little bit. Mm, if only you could smell through the Ooh. camera. <laughs> And what I'm going to do now is just add some water. Now, how much water is that you add? About eight cups or so? Hmm, eight cups. Right. I just guesstimated. Um, I'm going to end up adding, um, I usually will add just a whole bunch of coconut milk or cream, um, but today we have buttermilk. Uh, you always use what you have, right? But you don't want to put that in until right before you're going to eat, and then you're going to heat it up and eat it right then. So, we're going to let this just simmer on the stove until it gets pretty hot. I'm going to just let it, the flavors marry. Okay. And we'll be back in a second. All right. Hey, Kimberly, how's it going? Fine, how are you? Oh, good, good, good. So, what's got going on now? See, uh, looking pretty tasty, almost ready? It is almost ready. I added the beans. I added a little bit of um, cream sake. I was going to add Malibu rum, but we don't have any. It's Friday night, so it's a little bit of a treat. But also, <laughs> alcohol carries and enhances a lot of flavor in your dishes, even if you just add a little bit. So instead of the Malibu rum, I found some creamy sake. And I'm just fishing out the bay leaf and the lime leaves that I had, and I'm going to zip it through with the little hand blender. All right. And you'll see what it looks like in a minute. Cool. All right, Kim, I see that we're, we're back on now. Uh, I see you brought it down, as, I guess, is it simmering? or No, it's, it's not simmering. boiling anymore. I okay. brought it back up to a simmer um, to make sure it's quite hot because I'm about to add this and we're ready to eat. Okay. Um, so I just zapped it with that blender and uh -huh. it's a smooth consistency. You could have left it if you felt like it, but I, I didn't feel like it tonight. So there you Run go. around for us a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm going to add a whole can of coconut milk. Mmm. Nice. Yeah, I've been Makes a big nice fan of creamy. coconut milk these days. Absolutely. It's going to give flavor and it's healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and buttermilk. Don't be scared of buttermilk. You will be so shocked that it's 1% milk fat. Mm -hmm. 1%. It's just a little tangier than regular milk. It, it kind of tastes like that kefir that we've been drinking too. Ah, so I'm going to add about half of this, which is probably about two cups. Okay. Just going to stir it through and show you how we're going to plate it. Now you could serve this with fried pitas, that would be great, or even just a fresh crusty bread of whatever kind you feel like. Mm. Nice. Look how smooth that is. Yeah, it is quite smooth actually. Healthy, full of protein. Okay. So, I have black sesame seeds, as you know I'm crazy about black sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle a few on the top. Some green onions, just for a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. And I'm squeezing some lime juice on it. Freshly squeezed lime juice. Oh, that's a little trick you do with the fork there. It is. And voila, that's it. Friday night dinner. Cool. Make sure you all check out cookingwithkimberly.com and thanks for watching.